hello out there wherever you are. As for me, well, we have made this walk many times before. It is the opening day of the 2023 season at Kennywood Park. Now, there's a couple of interesting things with this. Um, obviously, you know, there was the incident that occurred last year and the DA of Pittsburgh came out and said that this day was in jeopardy because Kennywood wasn't safe. And I, I never felt not safe at Kennywood. And I gotta give Kennywood credit here. When that report came out, if you drove by Kennywood at any point, they were working on this outside fence. I drove by morning, I drove by in the evening. They're always working on this fence. And this fence here, when that happened, they added these floodlights. Kennywood Boulevard looks like the Las Vegas Strip at 2 a.m. If you drove by late night, uh, it is the brightest part of the <laughs> It is mega bright. If you tried to do anything near that fence, you remember when like Dr. Evil tried to escape from jail in Austin Powers where the big spotlight was on him? That's basically what you'd look like trying to do something near that fence. So kudos to Kennywood for doing that. But I never understood why they didn't just build this fence up way higher. Like make it 15 feet high with a net. I mean, what's the harm? But they have worked on the fence. But in brighter, happier news, it is Kennywood's 125th year. And it's their 125th year celebration, which they did over two years, but this is actually the main one. And um, I wanted to stop by and go over and see what was new. Um, obviously they have the new ride, it's not open yet. Um, probably not a lot of stuff's open today, it usually is an opening day. But new ride, new theme section. Look, I always said Kennywood had to decide whether they want to be a traditional park or a theme park. I've said it for years. Kennywood has made that choice. Kennywood is trying to be a theme park because they have theme sections. They have Steelers Country, they have Lost Kennywood, they have Thomas Town. Now they have the Area 412, which is the alien section. Sorry, traditionalists, it's become a theme park. They have theme sections, that's how it works. So we're gonna step inside Kennywood Park and see what it's all about on opening day, a late afternoon visit. It's about almost five o'clock, so. We're gonna see what's all about, stay a couple hours, see what's new, see what's exciting, see what's happening. On the opening day, 2023, Kennywood Park, and Tom was here. Hey guys, it's Blake Hanson. Angelo Spagnuolo. Dorn Dickerson. This is Donnie Football from 93.7 The Fan. And I'm KDKA meteorologist Mary Hours, and you're watching. Tom was here. 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 Like a true professional, that's incredible. <laughs> It was a simple idea. Go late and everybody will have their season pass process and you won't have to wait in line at all. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were horribly made. You can see there's no line to get in once you get your passes, but <laughs> getting the passes is the hard part. Okay, so guess what? Uh, the tripod I brought in was taken from me at the door. <laughs> Yeah, I have a little tripod that I use for stability and be able to like stand it down on tables when I uh, do stuff. And yeah, according to Kennywood policy, that no longer flies. So if you're bringing in a tripod or a stick or something like that, I mean, I know selfie sticks weren't, but my tripod doesn't extend. Just little legs come out so I can prop it on a table when I'm talking to people while meeting. <laughs> Sadly, no dice at Kennywood anymore, um, which is good to know. My guess is it doesn't, really say anything on the website and I've reached out to Kennywood about setting up something for like media pass and stuff they've never gotten back to me so this would be just another par for the course of them not getting back to me on whether a tripod works and the at least the security guard was cool about it that I didn't have to walk all the way home and he was able to take it and that I can get it from him from the station when I'm done the first touch the first touch of the Kennywood tunnel here and we are in we have the trolley out here back, back in the mix of Kennywood here another season 2023 oh 
here it is, Spinvasion, launching Memorial Day weekend. I see they're working on it a little bit. And yeah, this is part of a new theme section. Uh, I think it's Area 412. Cosmic Chaos got a repaint. The gift shop got a repaint. And yeah, this is the new ride. Now my only objection with this ride is, did you, did you ever see the poster when Kennywood launched it? Where it's like on top of Mount Washington. It looks like you go like 100 feet in the air. I don't think it goes that high. I mean, maybe with the testing, it, it, it probably will go... It probably will go like a little high, but it's not going to go all the way in the air. But yeah, this is, uh, I mean, it's pretty much done, I would say, at this point, other than some testing stuff. Curious to see if it'll open earlier than Memorial Day. But it's strange that they had all off-season and they still wait until like almost June to open it. It's very strange. The new coffee shop. I got it already going, which is awesome. That's cool. 1898 Coffee Company. Not a big coffee drinker, but I did hear they have Nancy B's cookies in there. So even though I'm on a diet and I shouldn't, I may have to go in and see if they have. No, I can't do it. I should. I might. No, I won't. I'm, I'm trying to be good. It turned out to be actually a surprisingly nice day. Um, you know, it, it was rainy earlier in the day. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? What is this nonsense here? Uh, shooting gallery is no more. Long live the shooting gallery. And I know being in a crummy day, but of course, Steelers country is in its usual mode, which is closed. If the steel curtain isn't running, Steelers country isn't running. Which, let's be fair, is this the biggest disappointment of Kennywood? that they can't make anything out of Steelers Country other than the Steel Curtain. I mean, add a dark ride. Do something with it. Make it different. Make it something unique. Put in something cool. It's worth checking out. When they first announced Permanis was going to be here, I really thought it was going to be here because it would make sense because it would give some reason to go to this section of the park other than the Steel Curtain, but it's actually in Lost Kennywood, which is surprising. But yeah, it looks like maybe they're doing something, which is good I think perhaps we'll see I mean the pizza warehouse is very nice and well done same with the golden nugget I mean they've improved the park the park um, thing it looks tremendous that's no doubt about that we actually have the rapids testing today which is surprising I mean they're actually reopening the rapids this year very exciting I can't remember the last time I rode the rapids it's been a while a long while Apparently they had to do some safety stuff, not because of this ride, but because of a ride in another park. Um, but yeah, very cool to see the rapids going. I've always liked it. Haven't been on it in forever. Very cool. And a train crossing coming through. Love that new paint job on the swing shot. Very, very cool. Soon, this is going to be the place where Permanis is going to be, based on the picture, I think. But that's not open until later this year. But I think this might be the place. I'm not sure where else I would put it, to be honest. So apparently they're doing like a night riding thing for I guess gold platinum gold and platinum pass holders um, that's going to be in Lost Kennywood from 7 to 8 p.m. So the park closes at 7, but they're actually going to open park just Lost Kennywood from 7 to 8, which they should do that more often, especially nighttime. It's a great nighttime park, and they should use it more. Very cool to run into Jacob the Carpetbagger today here at Kennywood. Uh, that guy, you know, if you're not familiar, uh, you know, he's one of the inspirations from the channel, at least in its origins, just going around and seeing things and filming them. Uh, that guy has been everywhere. My few thousand subscribers pale in comparison to his hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And the reason why he has hundreds of thousands is because he has been everywhere. Like, the man is a machine. He does not... Quit, man. <laughs> He's most likely here and then he'll be somewhere else tomorrow. 
I mean, it is his full-time gig, but, you know, I do appreciate that he's come out um, speaking about autism and that he's autistic and my daughter's autistic. Um, so, you know, obviously doing all that stuff while being autistic is, you know, it, it's incredible. It's incredible what he does. So uh, very, very cool to meet him today and then talk with him for a few minutes. I gave him some stickers. <laughs> I gave him a few Tom was here on YouTube stickers. So, uh... Next stop, 100,000. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Um, no, uh, very cool to meet him today. He was awesome. And, um, you know, he, you can't pin that guy down. Uh, but very, very cool to meet him. Right. I figure I should take a little journey on the Noah's Ark. At least get on something over there. working real good. <laughs> it's up the end of the wall. I am very curious about this one, but I am getting older. You know, I'm gonna turn 40 this year. I don't know if I can handle all that spinning. Am I too old? You get to a point where you realize maybe you're just too old to ride certain rides. <laughs> it looks awesome. I love the paint and the mural back here. This thing's really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, they build it up pretty good. It's, uh, yeah, it looks nice. Although this is a good reminder that Kennywood's still two rides down. They brought back the kangaroo, Spinvasion replaces the volcano, still need something to replace Baron Curve and Paratroopers. You're still two rides down, Kennywood. Let's be fair here. You can put in all the Permani brothers and the different stuff all you want, but it is not replacing actual rides. Still need two new rides. But look, they, put, they added a new ride. I can't be too mad at them. Well, they're trying, okay? They're trying. So I almost actually forgot that I got a gold pass. They gave me a souvenir cup. I didn't use the QR code because I didn't have a souvenir cup last year. So I tried, to, I tried it. So far, one for one. It worked great, but let's see how that lasts throughout the year because I've heard some, especially later in the year, it was tough to get it working, but so far, I like the cup. Fair to say the 4D theater is dead, yes. I mean, they ripped the sign down at this point. Like, it's not coming back, right? There's nothing on the marquee. Does that count as three rides then? Does that count as three rides Kenny Woods down? I think it does. It's a traction. The new kangaroo lights on, got the crown back on there now. 
looks pretty good. It would look better at night. They should have more night rides for this because it looks awesome. Okay, go on. You can say it. I'm weak. I suck. But my oh my, if you never had a Nancy B chocolate chip cookie, uh, they are available at the coffee, the new coffee shop in the Midway of Kennywood. Treat yourself. It is incredible. Loyal viewer, can I justify that this cookie is okay because I walked two miles today? You be the judge. No, right? <laughs> no. The goal is to lose weight and I'm eating a pound of a cookie. Um, yeah. All right, I'll try better. I'm sorry, I suck. I acknowledge I suck. Just when I thought maybe this other chin was starting to disappear, I go and get a big cookie. I haven't had these cookies in forever, even though they're down at Homestead. I've resisted for this long, and then I heard they're gonna be at the coffee company, and I went, oh man, all summer, huh? Such a good cookie. It's about that time. Hit the old hay. Well, that'll do it from Kennywood Park, opening day of the 2023 season. And man, oh man, I, I really wasn't sure if I was going to make it here today. And considering that I wasn't supposed to make it here today, it turned out to be a pretty good day after all. Learned a lot. Uh, <laughs> learned like you can't take the tripod in that I've been taking in for years into Kennywood anymore. Um, they were thankful enough to keep it for me in the guard station. Apparently, under normal circumstances, they're not checking in these things at all. You gotta take them back to your car or you're not allowed in. So very kind of that officer to keep that in the guard station so I didn't have to I didn't have to walk a mile. So I appreciate that. Um second. Uh new ride looks mostly up. Um says it's still been Memorial Day. Maybe they still gotta work out some kings, do some testing. Uh park looks good the park looks pretty good um they definitely definitely gave it a nice facelift there's still areas of improvement um things like the 4d theater we don't have an idea what's going on you know i assume it's dead at this point if they remove the actual thing from it but then that just seems like a big wasted space there's still two rides down they brought back the kangaroo now it's been invasion I still would like to get them something that would replace the Baron Curve and replace the paratroopers. Because then you have the park that you had before. Keep in mind those attractions, the 4D Theater too, I'm gonna include. The 4D Theater also. There's a lot of people that would go to those attractions. That would go to the paratroopers, that would go to the Baron Curve, that would go to the 4D Theater. So those people are then going towards other rides towards other attractions, towards other lines, making other lines longer. So they do need to replace those rides. Um, ran into Jacob the Carpetbagger. Uh, if you're not familiar, and I mentioned in the video, this dude has hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I've been watching him for years. And fair to say, he is one of the inspirations of the channel. He goes everywhere. And you gotta credit him for that, I mean, you know, he's here today, he'll be somewhere else tomorrow. It's his full-time gig, but man, oh man, I don't know if I could do it. And then again, maybe if it's my full-time gig and that's all I that's all I had, yeah, I could make it my life's work, but that is not easy. Yeah, very cool to meet him. Still, it was very kind of him to, uh, to uh, give me a few minutes when he was in between filming. Walked two miles today, two plus miles, and negated it completely with a Nancy Bee's chocolate chip cookie. I know, I know. It's probably the most exercise I've had in a while. That's admittedly the hardest part of attempting to lose weight I found this time around. I'm trying to eat healthy and then the weekends go to hell. Grab a cookie because I was like, oh, I walked two miles, I've earned it. That's not how you lose weight. I'm weak, I'm so weak, but I love those cookies. All in all, a very interesting and enlightening Kennywood day. Um, Definitely an added bit of security there 
a lot of canine dogs, a lot of security guards, a lot of police officers there to ensure everything was safe today. I know it was a lot of scrutiny going into today and I do feel they handled it pretty well. But that'll do it for Kennywood Park opening day 2023. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Like and support me on Patreon like John Bailey did. You can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, a Tom was your t-shirt, you can do so. It's Richard. As well as links to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collectors Association. Links are in the description below. When it comes to Kennywood Park, opening day of the 2023 season, I can surprisingly say that I really wasn't sure I was going to make it. That my name is Tom and I was here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye, everyone.